Hi everyone, and welcome to Bluebeam Review. My name is Ari, and I'm a Bluebeam Certified Instructor with Digital Drafting Systems. Today, we're going to learn about a duality of Bluebeam Review that involves the Pan and Select tools. Every time we open Bluebeam Review, our mouse cursor defaults to the Pan tool, and it rhymes with the hand. And you can see that our little cursor shows a hand right here. We can actually find that this tool is on and highlighted right here at the bottom in our navigation bar. If you don't have this bar turned on, you can go to the Tools drop-down, mouse over toolbars, and make sure your navigation bar is turned on. If it doesn't look the same as mine, sometimes when you create a profile for your first time, your navigation bar is actually bugged out and cut in half and missing some buttons. So if you turn it off and on, that'll also fix that issue and allow all the buttons to be visible. So I've already covered that in a tutorial many years ago on creating profiles. Regardless, the duality of the pan tool is quite interesting because by default, the pan tool seems to be quite convenient because most people, if they haven't used CAD or BIM programs, they'll probably intuitively use their left mouse button to click and hold and pan around the screen like this. So essentially, when you're zoomed in on a document and you're trying to go to a different spot, you can just click and hold and move your mouse and just drag around like this as if you were literally moving a piece of paper while keeping your head exactly where it is. Now, that does seem very intuitive, but there is another way to do this. We can actually use the middle mouse wheel as a button. Typically, we're used to using the middle mouse wheel to, of course, scroll forward and back. And when you open up a landscape document in Bluebeam Review, this is the default way that things are done. If you open up a document that's in portrait, for example, I'll go to my thumbnails list and open one right now, typically the document is going to look like this. And so this function that I just toggled to is called scrolling pages. This is typically on by default when you open up a portrait document. And now when I roll the mouse wheel, I can only roll it down and up and not zoom in and out. We're going to be covering that duality in another video in the future. So I'm going to click on one full page, the duality of scrolling pages. And of course, we'll cover both of them later on. Let's actually go back to our first page. And now I'm going to show you all the duality of the pan tool because I actually didn't quite demonstrate it yet. It's actually hard to tell, but you can actually use the middle mouse wheel as a button and I can click it in just like clicking with the left mouse button and I can pan around the screen. So oddly enough, there are two different ways to pan around the screen. And without me explaining myself, you wouldn't really know which one I'm using right now because it doesn't really indicate as such visually on the screen. But I do urge everyone watching this video to click that middle mouse wheel button down as a button and get used to panning around in this fashion. Why? Well, I'll show you right now. The reason why we'll be using that middle mouse wheel to click in and pan around the screen is because we have the duality of the pan tool right next to it called the select tool. And it's going to give us some really amazing functions. The select tool now allows our left mouse button to have a unique use instead of having a duplicated use that the middle mouse wheel already provides. So now what we can do is we can click and hold our left mouse button and make boxes around things. And when we let go of our cursor and we have a box over certain things, we can essentially select them. This is really, really cool because now instead of having to click on a markup, hold the shift key, and basically slowly, slowly select all of them tediously, we can do it within seconds just like that. Now, there is a nuance to this as well. We can actually use a crossing and a window selection. What does that really mean? Well, these are actually terms from a CAD program that I'm very familiar with. And how it works is the following. When you start on the right side and you draw your box towards the left, all you need to do is is partially cross over the markups in order to select them. You're going to see now that this concrete area right here, along with these circles at the bottom, are only going to be partially selected. And yet, after I let go of my left mouse button, they will still be selected. The markup does not need to be fully inside of the box for it to be selected if you start on the right side. So right equals crossing, and left equals window, another duality of Bluebeam Review. And so, we're going to demonstrate this by starting on the left side, and I'm going to make the same exact box. Well, close enough at least. And I'm only going to partially select those same four markups, the three circles at the bottom and the concrete area on the right side. When I let go, 
I only have selected the markups that were fully inside of the box. Anything that was partially inside of the box does not get selected. So I can quickly select markups starting on the right side, like that. But if I try to do the same starting on the left, I will not select anything. So it is typically much, much faster to start from the right side and select groups of markups just like that, instead of having to be very tedious and make sure that if you start on the left side that you must have all of them perfectly inside. Notice the provide wall type markup is a callout. I did not even get that one because it was not fully inside of the box. The arrow was not in the box, merely the text was. Therefore, that is basically another duality, little uh, sneak surprise duality in this video, that we get to see because we're using the select tool. And of course, while using the select tool, I can still click that middle mouse wheel down and pan around the screen. There's no need to use the left mouse button in order to pan around the screen, when not only can we still do it with the middle mouse wheel, but now we have crossing selection and window selection available to make our lives much more efficient. Thank you very much for watching our tutorial on the pan and select tools in Bluebeam Review. Once again, my name is Ari and I'm with Digital Drafting Systems. Hope you have a great rest of your day.